The latest statistics from the Stroke Association indicate that there are 1. 3 million stroke survivors across the UK. The charity's research also suggests 100,000 people have a stroke each year and that someone will suffer a cerebrovascular accident, stroke, or a transient ischemic attack TIA, often referred to as a mini-stroke, every five minutes. A stroke is a serious, life-threatening medical condition that happens when the blood supply to part of the brain is cut off. A mini stroke happens when there is a temporary disruption in the blood supply to part of the brain but this does not last as long as a stroke and the effects only last for a few minutes or hours and fully resolve within 24 hours, according to NHS Inform. A stroke affects each person differently and the Stroke Association is keen to raise awareness that financial support is available for people over state pension age through attendance allowance, but they, or their families, may not know enough about the benefit to make a claim. The charity said, attendance allowance is a benefit for people aged 65 or over who need help with their care because of an illness or disability. Stroke survivors are often eligible for this support but many don't know enough about it to apply. The benefit provides either £68.10 and pence or £101.75 and pence each week and as it is paid every four weeks, this amounts to either £272.00. 40 or £407.00 every pay period. The latest figures from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, show that at the end of May 2023, some 69,031 older people were receiving attendance allowance payments for cerebrovascular disease, the main disabling category that stroke and many strokes are grouped under, including 6,739 living in Scotland. Number of Attendance Allowance Claimants for Cerebrovascular Disease Scotland, 6,739 England, 57,819 Wales, 4,214 living abroad, 260 total, 69,031 if you, or a family member, have suffered a stroke. Help and advice is available from the Stroke Association online here or by calling 0303. 3033-100 or emailing helpline at stroke or .uk. It is also worth considering making a claim for attendance allowance, or personal independence payment PIP, or adult disability payment ADP, if you or a family member are below state pension age. You can find out more about claiming PIP or ADP here. Below is everything you need to know about attendance allowance including payment rates, eligibility and how to make a claim. What is attendance allowance? Attendance allowance helps with extra costs if you have a physical or mental disability or illness severe enough that makes it hard for you to look after yourself, it does not cover mobility needs. You do not need to have someone caring for you in order to make a claim. Who can claim? You should apply for attendance allowance if you have a disability or illness and need help or supervision throughout the day or at times during the night even if you don't currently get that help. This might include, help with your personal care, for example getting dressed, eating or drinking, getting in and out of bed, bathing or showering and going to the toilet help to stay safe you should also apply if you have difficulties with personal tasks. For example if they take you a long time, you experience pain or you need physical help, like a chair to lean on. Attendance allowance isn't just for people with a physical disability or illness. You should also claim if you need help or supervision throughout the day or night and have a mental health condition learning difficulties a sensory condition if you are deaf or visually impaired how much could I get on attendance allowance you could get either 68 pounds 
10 or 101 pounds and 75 pence a week depending on the level of care you need because of your condition, which is paid every four weeks and works out at 272 pounds. 40 and 407 pounds respectively. Payments will rise to 72 pounds and 65 pence for the lower rate and 108 pounds. 55 for the higher rate from April 8th as part of the DWP's annual benefits operating. Payments are usually made in arrears, every four weeks. You can spend the money however you like and it could help you stay independent in your own home for longer. This might include, paying for taxis helping towards bills paying for a cleaner or gardener can I claim attendance allowance even if I have savings and other income? Yes. Attendance allowance isn't means tested so it doesn't matter what other money you have coming in or how much you have in savings either, Terry's no limit. It is also tax-free and you will be exempt from the benefit cap so you won't have money taken away from any other benefits. Will attendance allowance affect my state pension? No, it won't affect your state pension and you can even claim it if you're still working and earning money. How does attendance allowance affect other benefits? The other benefits you get might increase if you get attendance allowance, these include, extra pension credit housing benefit reduction council tax reduction How do I make a claim? You will need to complete a long claim form when you apply for attendance allowance. It might seem daunting at first but help is available from your nearest citizen's advice, so don't let the form put you off applying. If you'd prefer to do it yourself you can follow the citizen's advice guide on how to fill in your claim form here. Full details of how to get the application form by post or over the phone can be found on the Gov. UK website here. What happens if I am about to reach state pension age? If you are thinking about applying for attendance allowance when you reach state pension age, you might be better off claiming personal independence payment PIP, straight away, you may be able to get more money. Get the latest record money news Join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Who cannot claim attendance allowance? You won't be able to get attendance allowance if you already get PIP or Disability Living Allowance DLA, to pay for your care. If you apply for attendance allowance while getting DLA, the DWP will usually reassess your DLA award instead. You can renew your PIP or DLA when the existing award ends as long as you still meet the eligibility criteria. If your renewal is unsuccessful you can apply for attendance allowance instead. Find out more about attendance allowance on the Gov. UK website here. Join the daily records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.